Ladies and gentlemen, today I give you the top 10 combat modules for Foundry Virtual Tabletop using Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. I will explain the main benefits of each module and demonstrate how they work on screen. One of the most impactful modules for D&D 5th edition is the Argon Combat HUD module. This module shows a heads-up display in the lower left hand corner that enables you and your players to use your character sheet without opening it. You can open the Argon HUD by right clicking on your character token and clicking the crossed swords button on the top left corner. Now you have easy access to all of your character's actions, reactions, and bonus actions at a moment's notice. You can easily access your character sheet by clicking the suitcase button in the lower left. You can easily equip weapons by dragging weapons from your character sheet to boxes in the lower left. You can have three sets of weapons and click on each to swap between weapon sets like when a ranger switches from ranged combat to melee combat. You can easily track how many spaces you can move in combat by looking at the number of boxes in the lower left. The tracker will turn yellow when getting to dash and turn red when it is exceeded. You can also roll for skills, ability saves, and tool proficiencies by clicking the table above your character art. The token mold module is a fantastic way to easily add variety to your monsters so each combat encounter is memorable. Have you ever noticed that you can roll for hit point totals on your monsters? The token mold module gives you automatic hit point rolling for your monsters so each monster has a customizable random hit point total in combat. For example, you can give your goblins the average hit point of 7 hit points or roll 2d6. This makes combat much more interesting because your players will need to adapt to variations in hit point totals for each monster. As a bonus, the token mold module enables automatic token indexing. This assigns a number to each monster duplicate, which is very useful when you create multiple monsters from one monster stat block. This lets you differentiate cloned monsters from each other and prevents a lot of misunderstandings. Finally, the token mold module gives you the option to add random name generation to tokens, which can help you roleplay your monsters. Monk's token bar module shows an incredibly useful display panel with important character traits like armor class, passive perception, passive investigation, and movement speed. This gives you access to the most important combat traits without opening your character sheet. This, saves, this will save you a ton of time during combat and exploration. Monk's token bar module also has five bonus actions tied to interactive buttons. You, can, you gain an option select button to limit movement for your players. This is useful for when combat begins or when a dangerous event happens and you don't want your players to try to sneak ahead with their tokens. Another bonus option is the contested role dialog button which lets you set up easily contested roles. This is very helpful for when the party tries to stealth past a guard or do grapple checks. My personal favorite bonus option is the Assign Experience Dialog button. Click the Assign XP button to open a dialog that will assign experience points to your players. Additionally, when an encounter is completed, it will open a dialog when the EXP for the encounter calculated and divided evenly among the players that were involved. This saves everyone a lot of time and frustration in distributing experience rewards. I also love the requested roll button, which makes it super easy to ask players for a saving throw, skill check, or ability check. It releases a pleasant ring as a reminder so players know they have to roll and prevents any confusion regarding what roll is required. All players need to do is click a button in the chat log to roll the requested ability check. Finally, there is an option for easy looting of NPCs which requires the loot sheet module. The MIDI quality of life improvements module gives you the ultimate combat automation tool set. The biggest advantage of the MIDI module is that it automatically checks if attacks hit and automatically applies the correct damage to your target. This saves us a ton of time because we no longer need to individually subtract health after each attack and do the mental calculus 
to compare armor class to attack rolls. It takes everything into account, even damage immunities and resistances. The MIDI module also includes automatic saving throw prompts and automatic rolls for abilities. This means that spells, battle master maneuvers, and other saving throws are completed automatically when you successfully hit your target. This automates concentration checks, so spellcasters have an easier time in combat. I am guarantee this will increase the speed of your combat encounters by at least 20%. The Dynamic Active Effects module automates all ability effects to save you an incredible amount of time and effort. For example, spells like Bless and Bane are tedious to implement because you need to manually add the bonus or debuff to every roll. The Dynamic Active Effects module makes the, this automatic and easy. Monsters like the Shadow and White have the Drain Life ability, which is exhausting to use because you have to edit your character sheet every few minutes. Give yourself a break and let the Dynamic Active Effects module do this for you. This awesome module automates the effects from reactions like parry, shield, and cutting words. Anything that creates a short or long-term status effect or condition can be automatically applied with this amazing module. The drawback of this module is that it takes quite some time to set up the active effects, but it is worth it because your games will be much more fluid and engaging as a result. If you are lazy like me, get the Dynamic Active Effects SRD, which gives you a compendium pack of D&D 5e SRD items, spells, magic items, and features, all configured specifically for use with Dynamic Active Effects. The Times Up module upgrades the Dynamic Active Effects module so your spells and abilities expire after a time limit. This makes spells like Sleeve, Featherfall, and Spiritual Weapon much easier to use because you do not need to remember when they expire. You can also leverage this module to create custom abilities for your monsters. For example, you can create a Captain of the Watch that boosts the weapon attack bonus of all guards by using a custom command action. You can create a zombie jockey that grabs your player characters and forces all their ability checks to roll at disadvantage. The Combat Utility Belt upgrades the Dynamic Active Effects module so that you can apply status effects to characters. This means that your abilities that incapacitate, knock prone, or stun your enemies will be automatically applied and displayed in Foundry Virtual Tabletop. This is great for automating status effects from spells like Tasha's Hideous Laughter and Sleep. This is super convenient for implementing monster abilities that apply status effects like the Warg Bite Attack or the Gelatinous Cube in Golf Ability. Unfortunately, the Combat Utility Belt does not automate the effects of those conditions, so you would need to set that up separately. The Symbols Creature Aid module automatically recharges NPC abilities that require a 1d6 roll. For example, the classic Red Dragon Fire Breath or Giant Spider Web ability. This is incredibly useful for making sure you never forget to recharge those abilities by automating that process. Symbols Creature Aid module can also give you reminders for layer actions and legendary actions so you don't forget. On top of that, it helps automate regeneration, like with trolls and undead fortitude like in zombies. This saves us a ton of time and makes running a game much easier. The Symbols Cover Calculator module automatically prompts you and your players to adjust your attacks with cover. For example, when you target a character, a chat message appears asking you if they have cover. If you select one of the options, the module automatically adjusts your attack to consider cover. The reason why I love Symbols Cover Calculator is because it really helps add tactics to combat and encourages players to consider the terrain around them. Great dungeon masters inspire players to act creatively and passionately. This gives you a helping hand. Last but not least, Monk's Little Details module adds a significant improvement 
to your combat experience. There are a lot of bonuses to cover in this value-packed module. The most significant improvement is the token HUD alterations. This new and improved altered status effect shows names beside the icon and sorts the statuses alphabetically to make it easier to find what you are looking for. There is a clear all button to remove all statuses quickly. The active statuses are highlighted in orange to make it more visible. And the module adds a handful of statuses that are frequently used in a 5e game. This is a great improvement to clarity and usability. Another improvement is a turn notification. Just before a player's turn and at the beginning of the player's turn, a notification will show as well as an accompanying sound to remind them. This guarantees that players will be ready for their turn and contribute to a significant speed boost to combat. The next small but significant bonus is the combat encounter automation feature which improves quality of life. When a combat is started, the encounter dialog will pop out and will switch to the chat tab. I recommend this in order to keep track of the initiative order and the chat log for attacks. This feature automates that step for your convenience. The combat encounter automation also automatically sets the defeated status when an NPC token reaches zero HP and the combat cap tracker will also close once the encounter is complete. Furthermore, the encounter CR is automatically calculated at the top left hand corner of the combat tracker. Monk's Little Details module also includes three wildcard features that are helpful for the right GM style. The first wildcard bonus is the character sound effects. This is a button to load a sound file to associate with the character. So if you ever wanted to make a dragon roar or a banshee howl, you can upload the file, attach it to the character, and play it from the token HUD. The next wildcard feature improves your ability to move your characters to a different part of the map without seeing everything in between. Simply select characters, move to a different part of the map, hold down the M key, and click. It will teleport all the tokens to the new location. Great for handling a teleport spell, portal, stairs, or dungeon crawl events. The final feature replaces a killed monster with a blood splat rather than the icon. The advantage with this feature is it reduces the clutter on the battle map during close quarters combat encounters where characters move past dead tokens. Player characters still show with the skull. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. We have more amazing videos on our channel for your thoughtful consideration. If you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section below.